Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about how to improve memorization when we learn a new piece. First of all, we have to say that there are four kinds of memory. Visual memory, muscle memory, auditory memory, and the last one, analytical memory. Musicians often use a combination of these types of memory. Anyway, each of us has an individual system of memorization. In this video, we focus on the last kind of memory. By using analytical memory, we can improve the process of memorization of a new piece because we use a conscious memory. When we want to memorize a piece in order to improve our self-confidence, we have to concentrate on small sections of piece. Now I'm going to show you my own way to memorize the final section of Liszt Rigoletto paraphrase that I numbered as a ninth section. Here we return to the main key of the piece, that is D flat major. We can see that the right hand has a sequence of octaves, which represents one of the most important themes from Bella Figlia dell'Amore Quartet by Verdi. Well, piano transcription is very similar to Verdi's opera, so this sequence is very easy to memorize, and for this reason I used only auditory memory by repeating the sequence. <laughs> to see the passage of left hand. First of all we have the following sequence, tonic, dominant, tonic, dominant. Specifically in the first bar of sequence we have major triads. Now let's see the second part of ninth section. Here we have a melody that switches from right hand to left hand. Well, on the right hand we have two elements. The first element is represented by octaves. The interval between the octaves is always the same, an ascending minor third and an ascending minor third. The second element we can print out is represented by a um, chromatic sequence and ascending chromatic sequence of B chords. So, right hand has a combination of these two elements, a sequence of octaves that move by ascending and then descending minor third, and then a chromatic sequence of B chords. Now, let's see the um, harmonic structure of left hand. Well, we have again a sequence of dominant 7 chord and tonic chord. So the structure is always the same. By playing hands together, we can think about this passage as a kind of dialogue between right hand and left hand. Let's see the following section that I numbered as 10th section. Uh, this section is equal to the previous one, except for the repeated octaves. <laughs> as the identical harmonic structure and right hand has the same melodic sequence characterized by repeated notes. Actually, you can solve all the problems by memorizing well the ninth section because the following section, uh, that is ninth section, is equal to the previous one. The last uh, element we have to point out uh, is that when I use analytical memory, I have to concentrate on the work I am playing. Because, for example, the construction of Liszt's work is quite different from Bach's fugues because they have a contrapuntal structure. So remember, when you learn a new piece, in order to improve your self-confidence during performance, uh, you have to study the right movement, the right fingering, because they are very important elements functional to the performance and they um, allow you to avoid memory lapses. Maybe we can talk about these topics in another video because this video will be very very long. This was the video for today, I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know how do you memorize a piece into the comments below or by writing me mm, on my social accounts, Gabriella Mappa, my Facebook page or Missy Ciranvazzi, my Instagram page. Now, if you like this video, please give me a thumb up, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and tweet the bell. Bye!